and it's build a boat Saturday back in the yard and just put another coat on the Kilson and I hope you can see how beautiful this is I mean this thing <laughs> even though it's getting painted I still love it but it will be covered up makes me look forward to woodworking on the inside of the boat when we can keep it like glass as Billy Crystal would say you look marvelous anyway so that's that let's show you what else is going on of course we're ripping <laughs> two by tens got another load of wood today uh, from the homie depot oh we built that rack last Sunday when I say we I mean Ray <laughs> as Sunday is my family day so got a good place to keep the wood off the ground looks more like a lumber yard and so what I was doing today so remember this is the Kielsen it's upside down so this is the top part of the keel so and remember we scarfed together the keel base plate that's what this thing is here 27 foot long so today what we had to do let's hope you can see this eventually the keel beam right takes different dimensions because we're creating a high aspect ratio so what you saw me bend the other day with those curve joints is that first those first two beams that go around that um what are we calling that that post down so get a pencil or something so where are we at that x is the post down and that first two lines there are the beams you saw me cut the curve joint for and eventually so in this high aspect ratio foil we're creating it goes from six inches to nine inches wide runs for nine inches for a little bit and then tapers all the way down back down to six inches can't really see it on here but we uh it is a high aspect ratio this con is continual continual camber or constant camber or constant uh taper from the forward end this is the bottom of the keel the top is eight inches the bottom is six inches so we'll have shape from going down upward and going from forward aft so we go from the six inch piece relatively quick to nine inches so this is that beginning part of the high aspect ratio then for one third these this thing is broken up into thirds so the first third we have here when it gets to nine inches nine inches wide then it begins to taper from the second third which is here all the way to the back you see that constant gradual gradual line there gets wider and wider as we go down see well can't see that but it gets wider and wider until eventually at the back we have a six inch piece again so constant taper from the rear forward so we're going to go ahead I'm going to actually glue up the um, remainder of the kill beams Ray is gonna cut this out I'm gonna try we get some stuff glued up today but only one video today I promise <laughs> anyway until next time peace and blessings thanks for all your comments and questions questions are really good it helps me to uh, you know stay sharp you know iron sharpen iron so thanks a lot it's hot as hell but it's cool under here relatively all right got to get back to work ain't she pretty